Hey witches, what's up and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Barbie and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystal and witchy content. In today's video, we will be doing a, another fake crystals video. This is part of a series on my channel and this week's video will be episode five. I will link the other four parts in the description box down below as well as a playlist in the eye up above. So in today's video, we will be discussing rose quartz, pink amethyst, and regular amethyst. Now this video has been so highly requested, so I'm so excited to finally be filming it for you guys. Now these videos take a ton of research on my part. That's why I don't make them as often. So if you really want to help my channel out, please watch this video all the way until the end and make sure to like and subscribe. The more all of you watching today who do this, it really helps boost my channel. And by boosting my channel, it encourages me to keep making these types of fake crystal videos. So without further ado, if you guys wanna learn how to spot fake rose quartz, fake pink amethyst, and fake amethyst, stay tuned and let's get on into the video. <laughs> All right, so let's jump right in with rose quartz. Of course, the best way to avoid buying fake rose quartz is to buy the raw version of rose quartz. All of these crystals I'm showing on the screen right now are all raw rose quartz. Now, because rose quartz is quartz, it'll be faked in the same way as clear quartz. So if you guys want to learn how to spot fake quartz, please go and watch part one. I will link it down below and in the eye up above. So rose quartz is not so much faked, but it is enhanced, meaning it is treated to make the color more saturated, making the quality seem much higher than it originally was. Rose quartz is sometimes treated with radiation to enhance and intensify the pink color. But in general, specimens, spheres, towers, and carving on the market are generally in their natural form and not enhanced. You will most likely find enhanced rose quartz in jewelry pieces versus towers and spheres. Now, I am not a jewelry expert, so I won't be speaking to the jewelry piece of it. I highly recommend if you think you have a fake piece of rose quartz jewelry that you go and consult a gem expert. So the other known fake rose quartz quartz is fake smelting quartz. Now I have talked about smelting quartz in a previous video of mine. That is the 10 man-made crystals videos. I will link that down below as well as in the eye above if you want to go check that out to learn more about smelting quartz, but they do make a rose quartz version of it. I will put a picture on the screen just so you can see what that looks like. But to sum up what I said in that video about smelting quartz, it's not actually quartz, it is glass. Now I do want to talk about lavender rose quartz, which has been quickly appearing on the market. I've seen it a lot in live shows and a lot on Etsy. Now crystal sellers, please do not kill me for sharing this information, but I do think it's valid to share. Unfortunately, lavender rose quartz is truly just a lower quality rose quartz, and I've seen some people marketing it as rare when in fact it's just really low quality rose quartz. Now, if the higher quality rose quartz is the most deepest pink, the lower quality rose quartz is gonna be more dull, more purple, and less pink. So if someone is telling you that the lavender rose quartz is rare, it's not. It's just a marketing technique to get you to spend more money or to buy from them. But just because it's low quality doesn't mean that it doesn't still have the healing properties. All right, so let's jump into pink amethyst. I am so surprised that pink amethyst fakes have started popping up. Pink amethyst, as you guys know, is highly desired. So let's talk about what to look for when you're looking for fake pink amethyst. So I've recently seen some fake pink amethyst coming out of China. Genuine pink amethyst comes out of Brazil and genuine pink amethyst geodes come from Argentina. Now I have seen some genuine pink amethyst geodes from Argentina being sold in China, but the price is 
pretty high. So if you're a buyer or a seller, I'd highly recommend just getting it from Argentina. If you're gonna get it from China, you're gonna end up paying a higher markup just because they spend so much money getting it to China in the first place. But the truly fake stuff I've been seeing is pink amethyst palm stones. I'll put a picture up on the screen of real pink amethyst palm stones versus fake pink amethyst palm stones. The real pink amethyst palm stones that I'm showing you on the screen are from Earth Prescribed and the fake ones are from a supplier. In my opinion, they just look like rose quartz. If you look at the fake ones, they have a white banding and they look just like an all over pink color, which if you look at genuine pink amethyst, it has yellows, greens, purples, pinks, browns. It has a much bigger color diversity range versus the fake one just looks pink. Now, not only have I been seeing it faked, but I've been seeing it more so misrepresented. For example, a seller on Instagram was showing flower agate as pink amethyst, which flower agate is a relatively common and inexpensive stone. So to sell it as pink amethyst, obviously that's a big misrepresentation. And that same seller was also showing rhodochrosite as pink amethyst, which rhodochrosite is pretty rare and expensive. So again, another really bad misrepresentation of pink amethyst. But shocker, this same seller actually was selling genuine pink amethyst as well. So just be careful when you're buying it that you're not being sold something that's being misrepresented as pink amethyst. The more you research these stones and the more you learn about them, you can really easily spot misrepresentations or fakes out in the market. So highly recommend if you're a buyer or a seller, just do your research, spend a lot of time looking at these stones and researching the stones, especially if you are a seller. Okay, so let's jump and talk about amethyst. Again, your best bet for avoiding buying fakes is to buy it in its raw form. Any of these stones that I'm showing on the screen now are amethyst in the raw form. Now, like rose quartz, amethyst isn't commonly faked. It's more so faked in small jewelry pieces like rings and gems. Now again, I'm not a gem expert, so I'm not gonna be speaking to that piece, but if you guys do suspect you have a fake gem in your ring, I highly recommend going to talk to a gem expert. Now, the darker the amethyst, the higher the quality. The more pure purple it is, the higher the quality. And because of this, sometimes, like rose quartz, the amethyst is enhanced. It's heated up to make it look darker, or it's even dyed to make it look darker. So not necessarily faked, but treated. So if the color is looking all over, very, very purple, there's no color variance and shade like light purple, dark purple, medium purple, it could indicate that it's been enhanced or dyed. But I'm telling you, it is so hard to tell if it's been enhanced or treated or dyed. Now, just because it is enhanced doesn't mean it loses any of its healing properties. So just keep that in mind if your piece is enhanced. It's not a bad thing. It's still a genuine stone. It's still a natural stone. It's just been treated. And I recently found out some of those big geodes or cathedrals are often dyed or enhanced to justify a higher markup price or to make them seem higher quality. That way they can charge more. Now amethyst can often contain yellow, which this yellow stone is citrine. So if you find an amethyst with yellow in it, that is actually ametrine and it is real. It's genuine and it's a pretty unique stone. So don't worry if you're finding yellow in your amethyst. That actually means there's citrine in there. And lastly, I will leave some pictures of some lab-grown amethyst. I didn't really want to discuss this a ton because to me, lab-grown stones just look so fake. To me, they're not even worth talking about because if you are looking to buy stones, there's so many real stones available out there that they're not even really selling these lab-grown stones. So again, I'll put some pictures up so you can see what they look like, but they're not really out in the market. All right, you guys, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys found it super helpful in spotting future fake crystals. And if you guys did, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I hope you guys are still here. And if you are, please leave me a crystal ball emoji in the comment section down below. And please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below as well. And I'd be happy to answer them. And always, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! 
And before I go, a special thank you to all of my patrons. You keep this channel alive and running. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, I will leave a link in the description box down below. This is a great way to show support to the channel. Or if you're looking for additional business advice, I offer this as well. So I look forward to seeing you on my Patreon.